time love comes from our beloved one who is the blessed the adored and uh, the beloved he is love those who love are born of God and know him because he is love and he goes before all men and he is now beginning to pour out his spirit of love and adoration upon all flesh because his love has been at truly an ocean of living water uh, there is no love unless love is given away and there is no love without forgiveness they are one and the same thing Christ said, all sins shall be forgiven man except blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, the unforgivable sin. That is to take our hearts and to let it get all twisted out of shape. And then they don't resemble nothing but just a little blob that, that dead in motion, not moving. So it's time. Gotta let it unfold. Stop being loveless. Because if we let our love wax cold, we become the walking dead. We become zombies, uh, only wanting words that will tickle our ears of what we want to hear. doesn't matter whether it's even the truth. Um, people with their love light not in motion, um, they, they have the appearance of, of godliness, but the, they deny the power thereof of love. And their love is stagnant and they are upon the path of perishing because if we let our love die right out there's nothing left for our eternal body that is an angelic one the uh, spiritual body that is made of the light of love so if we let that light go out we would naturally perish by spiritual suicide if you will and the Lord had great and mighty predictions of love after um, that ordination service and after he had um, given his beatitudes out. Uh, he was the treasure of excellence and every word that he gave as he said, blessed are the meek, blessed are the blessed are those. Uh, every word was truly excellence of his treasure of overflowing love. And most radiant was he when he was standing as our majesty of majesties, letting out his word of peace that would be transcendent down all throughout the ages. And what revelry, what celebration, what new mindsets of, of, of pleasantness and joyfulness of heart would come uh, to all hearing and embracing the words of that great benefactor of greatness. Embrace his peace that transcends all understanding, his tranquility, his serenity, because he alone can give it because he is love. He is our beneficent and he is magnificent. So what a festival of everlasting gaiety shall all children of joy eternal come into as long as they walk with their light of love shining being in motion being not dead what a good god we are presently serving all the time and the lord stressed to everyone there that uh, evermore once you're walking in love evermore is a blessed time to frolic as we supernaturally walk in the natural and naturally walk in the supernatural uh, and uh, during those days of love's glory if we walk with uh, the spirit of love we are under no condemnation the Bible says regardless of what you believe um, for uh, experiencing love in motion love to give love that transcends all languages it is what uh, uh, the deaf can hear, the blind can see, even the dull and ignorant can understand love. It transcends all that is imaginable. So welcome to the gala of the ages, Christ predicted, would come at the end of the days when his latter-day messenger, his latter-day Daniel, his messenger of Malachi 3.1, his messenger of uh, Isaiah 41 to Israel. 
uh, that uh, it would bring forth a long season of laughter, days of the great restoration of Acts 3.21, um, the days of the great restitution of Acts uh, that predicted uh, Isaiah 61, where money would come and fix this earth, money from the rich. And it would bring in, uh, usher in a great period of blessedness to honor him as the bridegroom of the generation by all people who are ch his chosen bride, all people of all religions who have their love light on. And they shall all suddenly be swept right off their feet by the spirit of love as he pours out his spirit upon all, opening their hearts to uh, the magnificence of his adoration, moving uh, within them, moving them towards loving one another as themselves, standing in the days of the golden rule. And he told people at those times that the seven spirits of God during the days of the kingdom age would all be swooping down as illustrious doves of his overflowing majesty. And uh, they would be standing as his holy witnesses, Emmanuel, God in the flesh, soon with us again. And then they would drop down many beautiful petals over them from a great multitude of rows of Sharon as they were confetti for celebration. Only Jesus, Isa Yeshua, the word of God living that showed us the example, only he can give the mantles of love which we all need to shelter ourselves from the storm for he has his way in the storm and the dust are but clouds under his feet so praise him evermore beloved he alone is the light that lights the way living knowledge flowing so the the gross darkness that has been can be destroyed for there is no darkness but ignorance alone. And therefore he has always been, and he taught that he is the champion defeater of all spiritual garbage that destroys by the light of love that brings illumination of the understanding of his benevolence, his charity, his, 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 his wow of awesomeness that goes before us all. And once we understand that Emmanuel encompassed all that is good. Uh, he was giving every loving believer that day as he preached his Beatitudes. He was giving them in the spirit their own robes of utter purity so that the Father would see their claim to Christ's eternal fame, lighting up their soul, lighting up their spirit with his love being in unison, in oneness with love through Christ, who lets them leave all of their disgrace and shame. So come and sit upon this latter-day mountain predicted in Isaiah 2 and uh, Micah 4. In the latter days, a new mountain would arise. This is the only mountain that it, it was predicting. And upon this mountain predicted in Isaiah 25, uh, all disgrace and shame shall be removed by love who paves that way. So the Lord preached that uh, nor would the vanquisher, Satan, after his removal, as it is foretold, ever allow anything from uh, the spirit of victory to befall any redeemed soul. That is the, the job of the Holy Spirit who has now making the crooked path straight for all wishing to let the tide of love to be in the wind, to create wind in uh, everyone's sails, who wants to sail off into days of peacefulness ahead. So praise God, he was the victor of the old rugged cross, and um, he knew that was the destiny ahead of him. So that Lord of Evermore also knew that he would overcome all by his love unloosed and would make a way. He knew faith was not, would not make things easy for him, but it would make all things 
possible. That's Luke 1, 37, for those that want to know. So, um, the Lord said, I cried unto the Lord of hosts when I was in distress, so his angels would guard my path. And there were many angels all over those ground that day. Uh, and he uh, called upon the host to help, lest he stumble, uh, and so that he could always keep his head upturned unto him, who is Jehovah Nisi, the banner of love over him and over all people. So the Lord turned to Jehovah Nisi, the banner of his holiest strength that was all over him to empower him. Uh, and it allowed Christ, he said, to become most uh, anxious, uh, not to be anxious about nothing, even though sinners would eventually be all about him and assailing his heaven-sent judgments by their foolishness. So it's days as Genesis 8, 11, again, the Christ said would come at the end. For a dove would come forth with an olive leaf and the spirit once again like it had happened in the days of Noah so that the water would finally do new things. The water of his living word would bring forth a flood of his great ocean of his love in the end. So he predicted that his dove would finally do a new thing, as Isaiah 43 predicted, and that uh, his spirit, by his word of prophecy, in the end would bring forth the message of kingdom age peace to act as a ribbon of hope for all of God's people who would have faith in that cherished one who is our beloved, the blessed, and the adored. For he alone, Christ, is our great sensation, and he is he who is able to do all things, no matter how impossible the odd, no matter how unusual his messengers may seem. So welcome to the dove of uh, the gospel, of the dove's devotion. I, I am Daniel, and I come to you as the unifier of the Abrahamic faiths. And one thing's for sure, I am the uh, ambassador of Christianity unto Islam. And uh, for the truth is, I am the voice of a prophesied man of Daniel 12, 13, the Latter-day Daniel, who is crying out in the wilderness of gross darkness, of not understanding the prophetic word of God, which is the total revelation of his unconditional love that has no end and no beginning. It is just evermore to envelope all of us. And praise the Lord that it shall be trusted. For unto God alone is it right to pray, and he is love. For only he is a, in a reality uh, within his created creation. Everything aside from him is transcendent and is coming in or passing away. But he is the anchor of all and it's time for Christ's wisdom to come in a new new way so behold the Lord's promised rainbow and it will come through this uh, gospel writer the dove's manifestation for it is written about the time of the end Elijah would stand up and be raised up turning his attention to the prophecy of the Bible, insisting on his literal interpretation in the midst of much clamor and opposition. That is the prophecy of Sir Isaac Newton that has now come forth in these latter days. And um, this is the gospel of the Dove's end time holy book, the everlasting gospel predicted in Revelation 14. And it will shock anyone reading it and hearing it uh, because it's a message that will not be doomed to obscurity. It's been written to, by the spirit of love to energize people's lives 
under his brightest light of lights. Great shall be the abundant grace, mercy, and love overflowing, everyone giving their ear. For uh, this is a blessing that will allow their Lord of always to shine over them and within them like a blazing fire of love all throughout their steadfast souls, welcoming his beneficence, exalting them to a higher level of love within him as he becomes their passionate flame of life within their burning hearts. These are the days of the re refreshing, the great refreshing of Acts 3.21. Today, bring days of uh, new understandings and days that will never end. Praise God. So with that, uh, make sure you check out the next one because Christ was getting ready to make a lot of crooked stuff really straight and saluting at the same time. That's a good, good thing.